fellows, look, it's your boy, Hunter. Dang it! <laughs> Hello, fellows, look, it's your boy, Gengar. Yes, it is Gengar this time. And for those who are wondering, no, that wasn't a joke. I actually, I actually messed up again and called him Hunter. What the heck? I reversed the problem I had in the last video. Great job, Jay. Great job. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Oh gosh. Well, anyway. Let's talk about Gengar because I kind of want to talk about this because I don't I don't find his design that interesting. I actually find Hunter's design way more interesting. Maybe because it's more like ghosty and I have no idea what the heck Gengar is supposed to be. Maybe like a Cheshire cat goblin demon thingy. I'm okay with him. I mean, he's fine. He's it's not it's by far not my favorite Pokemon, but I'm okay with him. Um yeah, I I decided to to make myself give myself a little challenge and I, I said like okay try to give him a really cool pose and I thought about a lot of things I actually made a lot of sketches in preparation for this I think the I think the one I liked the most was one that he was like grubbing grubbing <laughs> grubbing someone to the shadows I don't know I thought that was cool but I couldn't pull it off I, I just didn't know how to do it because Gengar's body is just like a big marshmallow I couldn't pose it right it, it looked wrong from every single angle <laughs> um so i might try that that pose with some other ghost pokemon that it's not a huge marshmallow with teeth but then i remember like the tongue thingy that ghost pokemon do in the anime i don't know if it's supposed to be lick or whatever i you know the, the, they would lick someone it gross he licked me and then they would be like in shock it was cool wasn't it that was cool I think I succeeded with the pose. I, I'm kind of proud of this one. I didn't do very well with the inks because I'm not good with ink, but but the drawing itself, I like it. I like the drawing. Yeah. Anyway, this this was your boy, your boy Ging Gingor. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Sableye! It's Sableye. <laughs> that was a lot of excitement. I really like Sableye. I don't know, I, I love I love Pokemons or I love animals and stuff like designs that have rocks or inanimate objects, not organic objects in them or even just not, not something that looks animal. That's why I really like Torterra because of the, the tree and stuff growing in its back. I think it's really cool. I love stuff like that, so I really, really like Sableye. He's so cool. So, yeah, I, I wanted to make him like a bit golem ish. Looking at that emerald, that ruby, whatever the heck it is. I don't know, I just drew a diamond thingy. But then there it is. <laughs> he's, he's just there looking at it because he's gonna eat it. Because they eat rocks. That's why they have so many demons. I, did I say demons? <laughs> I. I I meant diamonds. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I mean, maybe they do have demons. I don't. <laughs> oh god, abort, abort. This is going. This is not going well. Anyway, oh, I tried to make like a little background with this one, like some rocks with diamonds in them, and I don't know. I wanted. I wanted it to look cool or something. <laughs> I think. I think it looks neat. I wanted to give it a bit more of a. 3D perspective with some light coming out of the diamonds, but I have no idea how to do that with ink, so I, I just gave up and was like, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give it a little texture. I'm just gonna give it a little texture and be done with it. Um, yeah. I really like Sableye. That, that was about it. That's about it. That's about what I want to talk about. About this drawing. Okay, look at them. Aren't they neat? Yeah. Since oh since I don't know how to end videos, you know what? I'm gonna make an an end card. Here, look, this is my end card. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, love. No, I'm not having this awkward silence. Bye. And I will shake away the cloudy sky.